makkelijk gewonnen. Luis mij gesperd hebben, had ik een start om doen. En die chose hem in zo'n alleyway en hij just hem, stab hem. Het is killen de naam van Liverpool. Het is gewoon turnen mensen in monsters. Ik heb te walk around met een knife every day, mate, because this is what we, this is what we have to walk around with. Starts from you know selling a bit of weed, selling a bit of class A's, just you know, it goes on and on. When did you start carrying knives? Twelve. Can't you see what you had? To... That's not a knife. That's not me. Why do you carry that weapon? Because I live in fear of my life, and as long as I've got this with me, I feel safe. But well, that looks a bit more than self-defence to me. Scare tactics. The bigger, the better. I've faced knives, I've faced guns, I've been shot in the leg, you know. Have you stabbed someone before? Yeah. That's really disturbing because to I, see I, that. I, I'm disturbed, mate. <laughs> we're all disturbed, you know, because we're all, we're all the same. We all grow up through the same shit and no one breaks the cycle. It's hard around here. The cycle never breaks. It happens from when you go to school, you argue with other kids, and then just the next thing you know, you just end up getting stabbed or something. You'd have to roll with blades and have it around here for day, get it out blades and that. Are you two rolling with blades? Yeah. I'm not, but I've got one local. I don't need them if it around you. I've got one. Can we see? What is it? Sure, I carry this every single day when I'm out. Do you know what would happen if the police caught you with that? Yeah, I'd get missed. And do you know what would happen to you? Yeah, I'd probably go to jail. Like I've had to stab a couple of kids because they've been chatting shit over social media about me, about what my about dead, dead friends. people? Or about our dead mates? And what damage happened to those kids? Yeah, yeah. sliced face. They're scarred for life. Yeah. This is completely wrong. This is unacceptable. Karma works in both ways. I know my karma's probably going to catch up to me one day. And when it happens, it happens. I'm not going to run from it. I'm going to fight back. I could never walk these streets right here, right now, without having flashbacks, memories of some sort. Misery, abuse, torture. How many knives did you see on the streets here with the gang? Countless. Countless knives. Mm -hmm. One of my boyfriends at the time's friends pulled up on the, at the car. A gang member? Yeah. Um, and said, I can take you to him. So I got in, because this way and out of the order, and Eddie. Um, so we proceeded to drive in silence, and then we approached the park, and he went into the park, into the car park, and proceeded to lock the doors of the car. So that, at that instant, I knew that I weren't going to see my supposed boyfriend. And then he proceeded to tell me to take my necklace down or I was getting it right here, right then. At first, it was trying to take my own life, suicide attempts. But now, it's just 
watching my own head. I basically have to fight myself every day as a battle in my head. We have a Sutton, especially in the north side city, post-cold rivalry. You've got kids who won't go into the next street. I'm not talking about down to another part of the city. They will not go into the next street because they're scared of the gangs that are around here. Move, 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 don't stay in bro, move. Guard up Taff. It doesn't even make the news no more than Liverpool. If, unless it's a real bad case. But we know about it. As youth workers, we get to find out all the stuff, this stuff's happening on the streets. So we know it's happening a lot, lot more than what the stats are saying, the government stats are saying. There's nothing worse than seeing the young people die. These people who are in power should go and stand at a kid's graveyard and watch the other young people more. It's not a nice thing to do. It's not a nice thing to see. We've seen people having basically their hands hacked off for £70 cannabis bills. We've seen people who've had their guts basically split open. We've seen people's faces hacked to bits. So we've seen people stabbed once who've ended up with colostomy bags. You know, if you go out in a world where somebody's got a knife or you're carrying a knife yourself, it's purely down to luck as to whether you do survive. And if it takes one stab wound to kill you, it doesn't have to be a five or six you know, stab puncture wounds. It can be down to one single wound and that can be enough to kill somebody. My son Joseph was stabbed at a youth centre he'd gone along to to watch his friends do a band practice. My life just stopped that day. It's something that you never recover from. I mean, I had to go from the hospital. I had to go and I had to tell Joseph's younger brother and younger sister what had happened. That's the hardest thing I've ever had to do in my life, to tell his brother and sister that their older brother had been attacked and been killed. I was just starting to see glimpses of the man that he was going to become. He was just starting to mature. And unfortunately, all that stopped the day that this lad decided to go out with a knife.